Okay, we'll talk more in the car. I am here with her. We are at the doctor's office. We have answers. We need to so go over everything. Anything what you guys told me? So. No, because that's and that's why I came because it was baffling even dad. So this is actually like almost better than having Achilles heel, actual Achilles heel. It is a problem with your heel. Um, we'll talk in the car because the doctor's about to come back in. But we did get um, a note for PE. So you'll take that with you. I don't know if you give it to the nurse or if you give it to the PE instructor. But I'm going to take a photo of it so that I'm going to hear you yelling. No, I'm not yoga. yelling. Okay, we are, we're ordering these right now. We're still in the office. Doctor just showed me what to order. All right. Oh, I added two. I didn't mean to add two. Well, yeah, you do, because now I need to no. move shit. Yeah, I did. I'm no, sick of we'll having, just, no, I'm sick of Do you want to have yeah. two sets? Yes, I'm sick of having to take it out in another shoe and then putting it in another <sighs> shoe the same day. Can we just try one? I'm sick of it. It's 26 bucks. It's not 26. To buy two. All right, I'm very glad we came in. Um, it was it was funny because I was telling her like the progression of the pain, when it started, how it started, where it was located, and how we thought it was, you know, um, plantar fasciitis first, and then it moved back toward her heel. And I was like, then nope, it's not plantar fasciitis. And she's like, oh, you you do you do know <laughs> kind of what you're talking about. I was like, well, Jason does. Um. And she knows that we have a shoe store and, and this is our thing. So anyway, um, and I, no, I'm not showing it. I'm right. I'm reading it. Um, so do you guys remember the chest pain she had? Was it this? I mean, no it was this year. That. Yeah, no don't remember, remember that. Cause we thought it was, we took you in, we got an x-ray, went to urgent care. That's why she didn't, we didn't come to the doctor. We went to urgent care. Um, cause it hurt to breathe. Seaver's disease. Um, there's also, so that was the growth plate in her chest bone. So I'm just like, <laughs> she's like, I am so, there. the doctor was like, how in the world is, have you had four kids and none of them have had Seaver's disease and Ashley has had it twice now in two different locations. So Seaver's in the chest is the growth plate in the chest bone and that's why it hurts to breathe and that's what she had. And this one is the very tippy, tippy end of her heel that where it connects to the Achilles tendon. That's what she's dealing with right now. So um, while it is Achilles heel, it's where the pain is. Um, it's actually good news that it's Seaver's disease because it's actually like quicker to get over. Mm, it's been two months. I know because we weren't doing the right things to make it go away. We were doing little bits of it. We were getting on the right path. Told her what gel cups we got because that was all we could get access to. And can we go? Can yes, we, go? we can. I know. But she showed us exactly what heel cups to get because she's like, ah, I thought Jason would have something like this in store. And I was like, so did he. And he's having a hard time getting it from his, um, from his vendor. That supp supplies his gel cups for the store and so I she literally like add to cart buy it this she showed me exactly what one to order so we're gonna put that in all of her shoes she's gonna ice her all feet. Of them, you just bought me one yeah but you she wants you to move them I'm not gonna buy five different <laughs> gel cups I'm sorry they're not gel cups they're actual like heel like cups. rubber heel cups okay We'll drop her off at school. She's annoyed. You really want to get back to school? What time does PE is over, right? Why? Oh my gosh. You can open it. It's not that hard. <laughs> well, that's her PE note. It just doesn't look okay. very professional. Oh my goodness sake. Such a middle school move, girl. Like you can still see it. Okay. Let's take her to school and then I'll talk to you guys. All right. Dropped Ashley off at school. Went in. Show the um, doctor's note to the nurse, which was actually a good a good plan, because she ended up giving Ashley the elevator pass. Um, there's six floors to her school, so um, yeah, the elevator pass will help her for two weeks, um, but she has to pay for that little card if she loses it. <laughs> so, um, also, look what I found in my trunk. I just texted it to Jason. 
And he's like, oh wow, I looked, but I couldn't find them. Yay. So, got his headphones to have a diagnosis for Ashley. So, I'm gonna go for my walk. We've solved all the problems this morning. We're gonna go for a walk. Um, so basically for two weeks or so, Ashley is gonna do a lot of icing at night before and after her practices. Um, she's gonna do some Achilles stretches on against the wall and against like on a step. Um, it would be beneficial for her to do it and walk the stairs at the school because that motion stepping on the edge of a step is stretching the Achilles heel. It's just a lot of steps for her. And the doctor was even like, all right, well, let's just give her a break for <laughs> break for that. But so do some extra stretches, but we're gonna do hardcore, not hardcore, <laughs> um, extra pain medication around the clock as much as we can. Um, and we're gonna have her do some naproxen, some Aleve. Um, just keep her like, to kind of take away the inflammation, take away the extra pain so that she can do the stretches, so she can ice it, so she can like get the Achilles. That, that tendon needs to stretch. It, um, it needs to relieve the pressure on her heel and that growth plate. So, um, so anyway, uh, all of that combined, not doing running in PE. I'm going to talk to her coach tomorrow night. Um, kind of do modified cheer tomorrow like tomorrow and next week um as we kind of get her feeling a little bit better i'm even going to tell her like make sure she's doing some heel stretches some achilles stretches during practice i mean they do a lot of um stretching and and whatnot as they warm up so i'm just gonna have her hey ashley do your other stretches you know which i don't think she's gonna have a problem with having ashley do so um problem solved but the doctor was still baffled she's like i can't believe you've had four kids and <laughs> none of them have had both of these things happen to her to them so anyway this is our second kid getting the elevator pass at school also i almost took her to elementary school <laughs> and she was gonna let me because she wanted me to be embarrassed when i took her inside and i realized it was the wrong school so i haven't taken her back to the doctor back to the middle school since middle middle school started after a doctor's appointment so that was I did literally just had my loop to battery died sorry about that anyway I went to do, do the loop to go to the school and I realized oh my gosh <laughs> wrong school um, so she's she's gonna do good I'm gonna go walking Jason um, he's at home he uh, I don't, we don't know if it was the Sudafed that he took that just obliterated him. I mean, he, it just, I don't know if it opened up the cavern. I have no idea, but he freaked out. Um, his nose was running off of his face, but he was also super stuffy and the pre pressure on his sinuses, which after four days of antibiotic, he shouldn't have feel, been feeling that crappy. I think I think you should go back to the urgent care that there might be an, a second infection maybe back like in this tooth he just had a crown put back on that's been the case for him so I'm having he's staying home today um, so he can get better I'm trying to convince him to go to urgent care but we know how how long it took him to go the first time <laughs> so, well you guys don't know he was sick for like two weeks before he was willing to go to the urgent care so he's resting home today um, because staff members have to take time off later this week and if he's still this sick he's literally going to have to close the store um, and that cost us costs us a, like a lot of money to be closed like thousands of dollars in in business in one day he can't he will do it if he's sick, but he, um, so he needs to get better today. That's what I'm trying to say. He needs to get better. Okay, we are at Target, um, and we are just picked up some naproxen for Ashley. She's going to take those twice a day. They're 12-hour meds. Then I picked up a prescription for Kaylee. She's actually going to come home. Hang on a sec. I had to change aisles. Kaylee's actually going to come home in, like, two weeks. Did you hear me say that? Yeah. Um, so I don't need to mail her meds to her and then she's gonna transfer them to her Walmart 
um, picked up a little healthier snack for myself to have when I go home. Me too, Nilla wafers. Nilla wafers. And then I got my costume. I haven't. Hey, how you doing? Check out my costume. <laughs> I'm filming it, but isn't that That's funny? Good. Yeah. Isn't that so good? Yep. Ashley's like, you wouldn't. And I was like, oh, now I will. <laughs> now it won't matter. Yes? You said you were having a conversation with me. <laughs> it was, and then you slammed the door. It's okay. It was about your filming in Target. I know, I'm still gonna put that in. I just, we got interrupted by a friend at Target, but I still wanna show them my costume. Yeah, I knew all that. So what's the question? You're the one that said you, had, you were talking to me still. I don't understand what he's saying, but I do wanna show you my costume. I wasn't gonna get it. And then I saw it online yesterday and I was like, Oh my gosh, I totally need to do this. It's hilarious. And um, and I mentioned it, uh, mentioned it to Ashley this morning. And she just rolled her eyes. And then she was like, wait, wait. You wouldn't do it, right? You wouldn't, you wouldn't go get it, would you? And I was like, what if I did? And she was like, no, that would be so embarrassing. And I'm like, oh, well then I'm, I'm totally going to go do it. So I did it. I totally did it. It's, it's kind of, I've never bought a costume before. Well, I mean, I've, I've bought parts, but I've never just gotten a costume. It's a Target shopping cart or shopping basket. <laughs> it's so amazing. Okay, look at that. So you just wear it. There's like straps. And then there's these like, um, I've got to figure it out because I we don't see like the little, a little pocket, but there's these little hoopy things that I'm assuming make the bottom like stay like, you know, billowed out. But I don't see a way to attach those to the actual basket. So I gotta figure that out. But what I wanna do is like tape a Ziploc bag to the inside of the basket when I'm wearing it. And then I'll have Halloween candy in it. And so when I'm standing at the door, I've got my basket and I can reach into my basket and I can hand them candy. <laughs> I think it'll be fantastic. I think it's such a fun idea. And I can like, I can continue to, I can use it again. Um, we don't have like Ashley's trunk or treat, um, but we will have one for church. Um, so I just think it's really fun. <laughs> and Ashley's going to be really embarrassed that I have it. Um, and then her coach, Ashley's coach for her competitive and all the other squads that she's on. It's her birthday today, so I got her a bag of can of chocolates and then a um, Target gift card. I got that for her. Another one of the moms said she'd go in with me on it. Um, so got that. I'm just gonna get a little gift bag from my stash and get some tissue paper and we'll take it to her tomorrow night when Ashley goes to cheer tomorrow night. Um, I'm going to hopefully Jason, oh, the medicine's right here. Ashley needs to take the naproxen. We need to ice her feet. Um, and then now since she's come home from school and then we'll ice them again before practice and after practice. Um, she likes ice baths and then when she's laying in bed, she likes to put ice on, like an actual ice on it. So I will go inside and, um, and go and get her that med medicine. And yeah, I hope it's kind of nice knowing that this isn't like a six month process to get rid of. I'm really glad it's not plantar fasciitis. I'm really glad it's not actual Achilles heel because those take so long. A lot of people who get Achilles heel, they have to go in a boot and it takes months to get rid of. And she you, she can't wear two boots. <laughs> so um, I'm excited to see her or hear how um, I can't carry all this in and keep talking to you and walk into the house. So I'll have to just finish this and then go inside. I want to see how it went taking the elevator. Um, they kind of do, are pretty strict with the elevator. Like you can't have any of your friends go in the elevator with you or you immediately get the pass taken away from you. And um, but we... Kaylee has also used the elevator pass at the high school, so it's, this is no news. New news to us. I just want your, I want your reaction. 
<laughs> Anyone catch that eye roll? You said I wouldn't do it, but I did. I gotta figure out how to, the little things work. Uh, you have to we, admit it's kind of cool. We forgot medicine. <laughs> Are y'all ready for this? You ready for this? <laughs> so fun. And then I had the idea for the one um, trunk or treat that we go to for church, I could make my whole trunk a self checkout. I can borrow like some little kids, like little their little Fisher Price Mickey food scanner. Does she have one? She has like the beeper now. She yeah, makes yeah. a beeping sound. Yeah, and then we'll have like our Target bag. <laughs> our tar we'll have like a Target recycle bag, and Pass. then like a whole bunch of groceries. And I'll get like a, a red like tablecloth to like lay down over the uh, over the back. I think it'd be really funny. Oh, here's her, the croc. She got it. I got it. Nothing can get out of my bag. I know. She's trying to like rearrange her bag. But I think this is so stinking cute. I think this is so cute. So fun. So fun. Such fun. All right. I almost forgot. I am making my Mongolian beef for dinner tonight. I am craving protein, very much so. And I almost made it without showing you guys how to make it. But I'm at a perfect stage for showing you like all the steps um, without having to like do all the steps, if that makes sense. So I've got all my ingredients prepped here. So let me kind of show you and walk you through um, how to make it. I'm also cleaning up the kitchen as I go. So I can start the dishwasher when I'm done. Okay, prep work. We've got onion chopped up. I just use about a half an onion. Then we've got garlic. I cheat and I use that kind. Um, I use ginger in a paste. Again, I cheat. I find that when I have fresh ingredients, I put too much pressure on myself to use it when it's fresh. And somehow that extra pressure, I end up not doing it and then I waste the money. So when I have things like this, I don't feel as much pressure, then it's available to me anytime, like the ginger. Okay, so those are my ingredients. Well, those are two of my ingredients. Then I've got my um, flour slurry. You can use cornstarch too. I just grew up using flour. Um, and then I've got my ground beef. I've already cooked the ground beef. And then your sauce. This is my sauce right here. So I'm using a, a pound of ground beef. So the sauce is um, what, half of a cup of beef broth. And I just use my better than bouillon stuff here. Well, I just did a half a teaspoon of that and then put it into a cup with half cup water and I microwave it so that the um, bouillon kind of melts into the water. And then there is half a cup of soy sauce, plus I, it's like two tablespoons of a dark soy sauce, which I don't have, so I ended up just pouring the rest of the bottle that I had. And then it is three tablespoons of sugar, and you can kind of cut down that sugar if you want. But Jason and I really like the sweet um, that this sauce gives to the meat. And so I splurge and I allow myself to have the extra sugar because it tastes really good and it's high protein. I've got my rice um, cooking right here. So now I'm all set. I am going to um, put my onions on the stove. I already have some, oh that's already down low. Okay, so I'm gonna put my onions on and cook them until they're kind of transparent. And then I will add the garlic and the ginger um, and kind of cook that in until you smell it. I get this recipe from Flo Num, Flo Lum, Flo, what's her name? I followed her on, or on YouTube for many years. I love her recipes. Flo Lum, F-L-O-L-U-M. There are a bunch of recipes on TikTok, but I just know this one tastes really good. So I'm, I just continue to use her recipe. Um, so if you look up her Mongolian beef 
feed the hungry family for cheap. <laughs> That's what the recipe is called on her YouTube channel. Um, but I've given you all of the ingredients, so now you can look it up here. Um, all right, so we're gonna cook the onions, add the garlic and the ginger, and then we will add our meat um, and just combine those. And then you add the sauce and kind of mix that together. And then you add your slurry, your flour mixture until you have it the right thickness and you're done. So a lot of this is just like the prep. As long as you kind of have everything ready to go, it just add, you just add, 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 and then it's done. By the time your rice is done cooking, I forgot to put the rice on <laughs> when I started. So I'm gonna have to wait for my rice. But um, it just, Jason's gonna be so excited. He is with Chelsea right now getting chicken feed for the bird. So um, he's gonna be very excited to eat this when he gets home. Okay, onions, garlic, ginger cooked and I added my meat and now I'm going to add all of my delicious sauce and we just kind of incorporate that warm that all up together and then we're going to add the little flour stuff and thicken it up oh my gosh this is so good I don't like crave things these days except this like I think of making this and I'm like, oh my gosh, it tastes so good. I want to make it. And I've wanted to make it all week, like for a week. And I haven't had an onion. And it just tastes so much better. Any beef tastes better when you cook it with an onion. Okay, I'm going to turn that up just a bit. And kind of cook that together for a minute. And then we'll add that. I don't always add all of it, but it's ready for when I need it. Okay, there is my dinner. I'm gonna go ahead and eat because I gotta go with Ashley to cheer. I don't want to relax for a minute while I eat. And then look, I know it doesn't look very appealing, <laughs> but it's really good. It's just ground beef and rice. Yeah, I knew she wouldn't like it.